Hello, you're watching Hip Hop Wire. Please help me at kickstarter.com. The worst thing about gentrification is that the people who live there aren't able to afford to live there anymore. Look, people can't live in Lower East Side. Everybody in Lower East Side, they moved to Williamsburg. The people, it's particularly the, 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 my Puerto Rican brothers and sisters, they can't afford Williamsburg anymore because of hipsters. They moved to Bushwick, pretty soon Bushwick's gonna be like Williamsburg. After Coney Island, there's nowhere else. After the beach of Coney Island, it's the motherfucking Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> so either you're gonna move back, black people, a lot of black people doing, moving black down south, you get a house, a lawn, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, moving back to Puerto Rico, and then Republic, because people can't afford to live in New York City. And if we lose our black, Dominican, and Puerto Rican population in New York City, it's not gonna be New York City. We're not gonna have the flavor. So whoever, becomes mayor at the Bloomer Leagues, I think that we have to talk about affordable housing and, and get these public schools back. Because, you know, I'm blessed. I can send my children to public, the private school. I didn't go to private school. I went to private, public school from kindergarten all the way up to John Dewey High School in Coney Island. Public school was good then. When I went to public school, you had to take art, you had to take music, you had to take gin. All across this country, in public schools, kids are growing up today no art, no art classes, no music classes, and no gym classes, and you know, and it's a shame. And then you wonder why people say, why, why is India and China and these other countries, you know, leap, leaping past as far as when it goes to, you know, the education of our young people.